17-beta estradiol, also known as estrogen, is the primary female sex hormone. Estrogen acts in the body through the estrogen receptor pathway. There are two different forms of the estrogen receptor, usually referred to as alpha and beta, each encoded by a separate gene, ESR1 and ESR2. The estrogen receptors are found primarily in the cytosol when they are unbound. Estrogen binds to the estrogen receptor in the cytosol. Once estrogen is bound to the receptor and the receptor dimerizes, it enters the nucleus and becomes a transcription factor. A transcription factor is a protein that controls the rate of transcription of genes. Once the dimerized estrogen receptor is bound to DNA directly or indirectly in hormone response elements, it recruits other proteins that transcribe genes. A specific gene it activates is C-MYC, which is an oncogene that is involved in cell cycle progression and apoptosis. The estrogen receptor binds to the C-MYC gene with the protein beta-catenin activating transcription of C-MYC. Estrogen receptor transcribes a multitude of different genes affecting various processes in the body. It can lead to decreased or increased levels of mRNA transcribed from these genes, which are then made into proteins which have functional effects throughout the body. Bisphenol A is a man-made chemical. Originally developed during the 1930s as an estrogen-like compound, BPA was never used as a drug because it was less effective than other synthetic estrogens. However, it has been widely used in industry primarily to make plastics since the late 1950s. The chemical structure of BPA is similar to the chemical structure of estrogen as they both have phenol groups. When BPA gets in the body, it is mistaken for estrogen and this is referred to as an estrogen mimic. It will bind to estrogen receptors in the cell and this can have the same actions in the body as the natural bound estrogen estrogen receptor would. Here, we see Becky drinking out of her water bottle. It's a hot day and the bottle has been sitting in the sun. This is an old water bottle and as Becky drinks the water, she is also ingesting BPA. The BPA is entering cells in her body. Oh no! It is being recognized by the estrogen receptor as estrogen and they are binding in the same way that estrogen did. Now the receptors are dimerizing again and entering the nucleus. Once inside the nucleus, the BPA estrogen receptor binds to the hormone response elements and influences transcription in the same way that estrogen would because the cellular machinery thinks it is estrogen. This means that genes such as CMYC are overexpressed. More CMYC mRNA leads to more CMYC protein. In tumor cells, oncogenes such as CMYC are often expressed at high levels. CMYC stimulates cell growth. The increase in cell division and DNA replication elevates the risk for replication errors, which can result in mutations that disrupt normal cellular processes such as apoptosis, cellular proliferation, or DNA repair. These are all critical pathways to normal cell growth and when dysregulated, could lead to cancer.